everyone, it's Meg Allen Cole. A while back, I made a mid-century inspired starburst mirror, and since then, there have been a slew of other really rad versions put out there. Staying in the same mid-century design era, today I'm going to make an atomic clock to give my kitchen a more retro feel. I have the perfect spot for it right on my reclaimed wood wall. So since this is going to be a clock, we have our little clock face here made out of two pieces of cardboard and I ordered a clock kit online. We are going to paint it this cool retro color blue with a sponge and for the starburst I'm going to use these dowels. I will sand them and cut them and spray paint them a pretty chrome or gold. So I have two cut pieces of cardboard to be the face of my clock. You can of course use wood, but this is what I had around. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the two together to give it a little bit more strength. And I'm going to avoid the center because I'm going to drill in there. Measure and draw two perpendicular lines intersecting in the center. Now that I have the center marked on my circles, I'm going to go ahead and drill right on through it. Put a piece of wood behind it for safety. Now you can paint the front and sides of your clock face. So while our clock face dries, we're going to go ahead and cut and sand and paint our dowels. I need 12 13 inch dowels, so I went ahead and measured and I'm going to go ahead and cut them with my shears. Sand your dowels so that the paint will fully adhere. Now you can take them outside to spray paint. I created a little dowel stand so as not to have to touch the wet paint. I'm going to add a grid on the back of my clock face to show where the dowels will be attached and then I'm going to add the clock and then glue the dowels around the clock piece. Draw six equidistant lines intersecting in the center as your guide. This is just a guide so it doesn't have to be perfect. Cut away any excess with a utility knife so the clock can fit. Test fit your clock piece to your clock face and touch up any paint if necessary. Align both 12 o'clocks on your clock end grid before gluing the two pieces together. Be careful not to get any hot glue on the center piece. Now you can add your clock hands and the top screw. Using the grid as a guide, I'm now going to hot glue my dowels onto the back of the clock. Pro tip, using a nice roll of tape can stabilize the surface for the next step. If you want, you can cut the end of your dowel so that it is more angled and bumps right up against your clock piece. A bird's eye view helps you see if the dowels on opposite sides match up. Tape is my best friend during this project. It keeps all of my pieces level as they dry. Find the perfect spot, add a screw, and hang. For a different version, use different length barbecue skewers and half of a styrofoam ball using a cardboard backing. I think this one would look really sweet spray painted gold. I love how the atomic clock turned out. It really adds to that retro look I'm trying to create in my kitchen. With the rest of my Starburst collection, I've created a nice statement wall. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next craft video. Bye.